Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to summarize all the exponential smoothing methods that I discussed so far. So we looked at a time series uh, without any trend and seasonality and uh, we looked at uh, a time series with seasonality and trend and then we looked at uh, both the additive and uh, multiplicative models. So here is uh, what we did so far. So in this uh, table we have a trend component uh, here and the seasonal component uh, here and uh, a series can either show us no trend an additive trend or additive uh, damped uh, trend similarly a series can show us uh, no seasonality an additive seasonality or the multiplicative seasonality the very first model that i discussed was uh, a series without any trend or seasonality for this first uh, model without any seasonality or trend we apply simple exponential smoothing. On the other hand, if a series shows us uh, a trend which is either uh, additive or additively damped trend, we apply Holtz linear trend method and uh, this trend method could be damped as well by introducing a damping uh, parameter in it. And then we looked at uh, models where we had uh, seasonality and here we can have uh, an additive uh, trend or additively damped trend, an additive uh, trend with the multiplicative seasonality or an additive uh, damped trend uh, with multiplicative uh, seasonality. So these are the four classes of uh, models that I discussed uh, with seasonality. Now in this case seasonality could be either additive or multiplicative and uh, the trend could be either additive or additively damped. In all of these cases, we apply Holt Winters uh, method and obviously we can control for uh, this uh, damped uh, trend as well in these models. So essentially the idea here is to look for uh, various patterns in the series and if a series shows us uh, no trend or seasonality, apply simple exponential smoothing. If it shows a trend but no seasonality, apply Holt's linear trend method and you can introduce a damped parameter in this model and similarly if it shows uh, both the trend and seasonality you can apply Holtz winters method and obviously you can introduce a damped parameter in this uh, model as well so this is the summary of uh, the methods of exponential smoothing that we discussed so far and the idea here was to control for the smoothing of uh, various patterns in a time series and give various weights based on uh, the time an observation is occurring and we looked at uh, various uh, parameters those control for uh, uh, the smoothing of uh, those uh, components we looked at uh, the smoothing parameter for uh, the level the smoothing parameter for the trend and uh, the smoothing parameter for the seasonal component and similarly we looked at a parameter phi which can be used to damp uh, the series so probably the most important thing will be to understand uh, the intuition behind uh, these models and uh, get these parameters from your R output. Obviously, it may be very difficult and cumbersome to remember all these uh, Greek parameters, but essentially you can always come back to these videos and uh, look at uh, what each of uh, these parameters is representing. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.